If you're thinking about a career in radiation therapy, but you're not sure where to start, this video is for you. My name is Laura Nappi. I'm owner of Rad Pro Academy and have created various educational programs for students in radiation therapy to help them succeed, as well as now material for radiation therapists. So I wanted to make this video to help answer a lot of frequently asked questions that I get on how to become a radiation therapist. How do I find a school for me? Where are the schools? What does accreditation mean? So stay tuned and I will go through all of that and even show you the application process through one of these sites. So first, let's talk about the importance of accreditation and what this means. So there is a body that accredits programs and that's J-R-C-E-R-T. Now, this will ensure that the program meets quality standards. We want to make sure schools are meeting appropriate guidelines so that everyone's getting a well-rounded and similar education. So J-R-C-E-R-T, or J-CERT we say often, is required for eligibility to sit for the ARRT Radiation Therapy Registry exam. And you have to take this exam in order to become a licensed therapist and eventually work in our field. So there are two different routes you can go to look for schools. You can go on the JRCERT website or ARRT. Now, what's the difference between these two? JRCERT accredits the educational program in radiation therapy and other modalities as well, whereas ARRT certifies the radiation therapists and other technologists after graduation. So ARRT is providing the test. But ARRT also does a lot of other things such as continuing education requirements, and they have a lot of information as far as which schools are available as well. So next, I'm going to start sharing my screen and show you the two different routes in which you can find a school that's right for you. First, let's start with the JCERT website. So if you type in jrcert.org, you'll come to this home screen. And JCERT stands for Joint Review Committee on Education in Radiologic Technology. So it doesn't only focus on radiation therapy. So if you are interested in a different modality, you can use the same uh, website to find your program. So on this site, you have a lot of information and you can look through to get everything you need out of it. If you go to About Us, you can see their vision and mission statement, which ultimately means that they want to create a standard and ac academic integrity and quality, which is really important because we want to make sure that the school we're choosing is up to standards. So if you want to find a school, you can click on students, drop down to find a program, and then you can filter the type of program. So you have different modalities here. And if we're looking for radiation therapy, I'll select that. Now this is going to filter, but in the meantime, you can look at the different degree type or certificate that is offered or alternative learning tracks. So distance education, that's really important for a lot of people. I know not every state or there aren't as many availability um, in your state. So that could be an option as well. Now, when it comes to these tracks, where it says evening, part-time, and weekends, I do want to note that most of these schools, I don't want to speak for all of them, but most of them, you are required to go to the clinical site um, a certain amount of hours per week or per year. You will need to do that during working hours. And typically, radiation therapists work I don't want to say nine to five because it could be a range between like 7 a.m. or maybe later, depending on the site that you're looking at. And then there are different degree types. So associate's degree is the lowest degree that you need to become a radiation therapist. There are programs with higher degrees like bachelor's degree in the U.S. And that is important for future groups as well as um, the future of our field. But it's not required you at least need an associate's degree. A certificate program is typical for schools that are accepting students who are already registered and licensed as a radiologic technologist. So once you have that degree, you can then go back for your certificate in radiation therapy. So those are quite limited. If you select just that, it will limit the amount of schools that you see. So I do recommend that you keep them all unchecked so you could see what your options are. So now on the right here, we have our schools populated in alphabetical order from program name. So you can go through and look. You can even um, look for a specific city or state. And on the right-hand side here, you will see that specific type of degree. So if you want to just click on one, it will give you a ton of information here. 
the program director, as well as their contact information. So if you have specific questions for this program director um, or about the school, maybe it's the prereqs that you might need. The websites are even listed here. So I would first look at the website and see if there's any information. And then from there, you can contact the program director for more uh, information. And typically, a lot of information is given here, as well as more contact. So you can really get your answers so that you know if this is the right program for you. It also will give you a breakdown of cost. Another important thing you can look at are the pass rate of the exam. It shows you how the program prepares the student for passing the exam. And also job placement. There's a lot of things you can talk about with a program director to get a little bit more information on these figures, but it's good to look at. So next, let's jump over to the ARRT website. This is the homepage. Again, there's a ton of information here because once you are licensed, you will be using this website to stay licensed, to update your license, to uh, get more credentials if you eventually want to. So it's a really important uh, website. So if you want to look for programs on this site, you want to look for this Earn ARRT Credentials. We can look at how to apply. It's going to be the primary eligibility pathway for radiation therapy. If you're watching this video and you're looking for a different type of license, you might want to look at um, the other options listed here. So it can give you a ton of information, but ultimately we want to look for school. I clicked on education and as you see, the primary eligibility pathway radiation therapy is listed here. So I'm going to click on requirements. So I, I mentioned this earlier, but ART also says an associate's degree is required. So at least an associate's degree. If you have higher degrees, that is great. That's just a benefit, an added benefit to you. So if I scroll down, I see find an educational program. I'm going to click on that and then select your discipline. So in our case, we're going to look for radiation therapy. And here are a list of schools. Now, these are all of the schools in the U.S. and for Canada as well. So they are not necessarily JSER um, accredited. So just keep that in mind if that's something that you are preferring. It's up to you. It's a personal choice. And if a school is not currently accredited, they can be working towards accreditation. So it's not something to fully rule out. You can look through each institute. You can look and filter it based on state. So if your state is California, you could filter it and see what schools are there. Now, I won't let you click like the other website, but you do have a good amount of information. And then you can always just use Google and search for this specific school. And then each school typically has a radiation therapy page. If they have the major, they'll have a page with more information that you can look at. Okay, so that is how you can use those websites to help you find a school that works for you. Now, some things that you might wanna keep in mind when you're choosing the school are about the program structure and the clinical rotations. So some programs offer rotations in multiple hospitals or cancer centers, which will give you more exposure, no pun intended, and others might be more limited. And a lot of times these hospitals will hire students that have trained in their center because you are familiar with them and they are familiar with you. So each clinical rotation is like a job interview. So it is important to choose a school that rotates you through a cancer center that you would be potentially be interested in working in. So other things to look at are the location and the cost. So in-state versus out-of-state, they might vary on their tuition rates. Consider taking out loans um, or financial aid or scholarships if the school um, offers that. Another thing that you might want to consider is the degree type that the school offers and your career goals. So like we said earlier, you definitely need your associates. But now it's your choice, your personal choice, if you want the associate's degree or if you want a bachelor's degree. And that can be based on long-term plans or your career goals. You can always start with the associates and potentially go back to school at night or online once you're working and get your bachelor's degree. So there are other options depending on the school that you choose. So as far as these degrees, associate's degree typically takes two years and you might need some prereqs before that, but it prepares you to become a radiation therapist. You can meet the ARRT certification requirements, and it's ideal for people who want to start working quickly. The bachelor's degree is typically four years, and this can include additional coursework depending on the school, some leadership, research, and other advanced topics. Typically, the first two years are more generalized and then two years dedicated to radiation therapy. But again, each school is a little bit different, so I can't speak for all of them, but that's just from my experience. Now, some hospitals can prefer bachelor's degree or maybe trending that way in the future. 
but it's not the necessity. And then we have certificate programs. So like I said before, if you are a radiologic technologist, so you have your x-ray certificate, you are eligible for a certificate program. They're typically shorter. They're pre-accelerated 12 or 18 months. And that's because you already have that foundation from the ART in radiology. And this is just for people who are looking to transition to radiation therapy. Because it's so accelerated, it is a little bit more challenging, but it's doable because you already have that foundation. So as far as job outlook and salary expectations, radiation therapy is a high demand career. It's a stable job with growth. So the pay is similar regardless of your degree type right now. Associate or bachelor's degree won't change your salary, but it's really hard to say exactly what your salary is going to be because it's so different based on your state. And even within the state, New York City versus upstate New York, um, it's going to be very different because of the cost of living. And New York versus Idaho might also be very different because of the different cost of living there. So I'm just sharing my screen again. This is Indeed.com. This is where you can find some jobs. Not all jobs are always listed here, but they also have some information. Um, and I just looked at how much does a radiation therapist make in it. So look at Florida. So you could see a few different states. So right now it's 74. A thousand is the average base salary for a radiation therapist. Low is 55 and high is 99. I believe it's in that state. So say you want to look at New York and it jumps up to $100,402 per year. And you can even break it down to hour, day, week, month. Let's see California. So you could do this for your specific state. And that is 151. So California, I know it's higher cost of living. So that makes sense. It sounds great. But of course, there's a reason for it. It's not um, because of anything else, but besides the cost of living. You can also use Indeed to look for jobs. I know often people wonder, are there jobs in radiation therapy where I live? Or what is the job outlook? And it does fluctuate. And you can look at Indeed and just see what's out there right now to see, is this something that's doable for you? Because I know some people are looking for a change in their career. It's a little bit scary. So you want to have your facts before you make that jump. Okay, so I know I talked about a lot. So let's just recap. You can use jrcert.org to find an accredited program, or you can use ARRT.org to find a program for radiation therapy or other modalities if you're interested. Things to consider would be the location of the school, cost, clinical training, past rates, job placement, degree type, but there's so much more to learn. So if you have any other questions that I didn't answer in this video, please comment below and I will be sure to answer those questions or even make another video if this was helpful. So thanks for watching. If you're interested, you could always check out radproacademy.com or follow me on social media, Radiate with Laura, for more information. <laughs>